Okay, I know we all live in Delulu land, apparently. De fucking Lulu land. You guys just don't know when someone doesn't like you. And it's a problem. I'll tell you why it's a problem. Because you keep coming back to somebody who's like, ew, get the fuck away from me. Like, are you, you're borderline harassing somebody. Honestly, this is serious. Stop thinking that you can convince someone to like you. If they don't like you, let them be and move the fuck on. Go find someone that does. And maybe also stop acting crazy because nobody's going to like you if you're just fucking wild and you can't get any social cues. I'm going to tell you guys the, in my opinion, obvious ways that he or she is not into you. The problem is, is you guys are so like far down this rabbit hole of like, oh my God, like he just is going through her time. Oh my God, she's just like really busy with work. You, you guys all read the same fucking handbook, right? Of like excuses 101. And you've used those excuses before. But for whatever reason, because you're like hoping for the best, suddenly you're like miss optimism here. You think that like what they're saying actually has some fucking merit. Never listen to anyone's words. Always look at their actions. If somebody likes you and wants you, there's a sense of urgency. Let me ask you. When you like someone, what do you do? You answer the text messages in a timely manner. You make concrete plans. You're pretty urgent about prioritizing them, right? Like you're, you're like, okay, like I have a date on Saturday. Like I'm, I'm blocking that off. Like, they're, like, sorry, mom, can't have dinner with the fam. Like you're very adamant. You apply pressure. You get excited and you want to text them back, right? You want to involve them in things. You put effort into what you say. You do those things because you like them. Now, if someone doesn't do it to you, they don't like you. It's very, very simple. And I don't know how you guys keep getting it wrong. But I'm here to right your wrongs. Is that the saying? I don't know. Whatever. No sense of urgency. Delayed in messaging. Literally no effort. Nothing in public. Doesn't commit. Never gives you yes or no answer. These are signs that he is not into you. Saying, oh my God, I really like spending time with you, but... I don't want to hurt you. I'm not looking for anything serious. I just got out of a relationship. I just this. I just that. I just that. Stop taking it as flattery. It is literally a sorry, bitch. You're not at the top of the roster. And even if you were, I still want my roster open. So I can put my deck in every other hole I see. That is what you guys are accepting. You understand that, right? Just because he calls you at 3 a.m. doesn't mean he loves you. He doesn't like you. Doesn't mean the sex is good. Doesn't mean you have like pussy power as him. Shit, bitch. You are just somebody that's going to say yes. You are just somebody that's going to respond even though you've been disrespected several times. You are just going to put up with shit because all it takes for him or her is to say, I'm sorry, I really miss you. But like, you're the only one that gets me. And you fall into that. Like, it is fucking pathetic. I want to smack that phone out of your fucking hand and literally delete block and fucking throw your phone in the ocean. Okay. Delete and block this person's number. That is the first thing you do. I don't know how many times I tell you that if you need to buy my merch so that you look at it every fucking day and wear that shirt every fucking day, go ahead and do so. Okay. Because I think that's the extent in which you guys have actually fallen off the fucking rails. How do you not know that that person does not fucking like you? How, how do you act when you like somebody? Does that even mirror remotely what they're doing no no take it offensively because when somebody thinks that they can stop talking to you for like a few weeks and then come back with hey how are you what's up what are you doing tomorrow if they think they can do that it's because they think you're an idiot they think you're actually stupid as fuck okay because nobody would dare do that to me would dare do that to me you know why because a they can't because they're blocked okay if you don't respond to me within the week I'm, I'm like I've obviously found you on a dating app. We know what this is for. Um, I, like, I don't I don't need a, a message pop up on my phone to make me feel special. I don't. I want peace. I want nothing on my phone unless it's people that I hold near and dear or have potential and have treated me with respect. Sorry. Sorry. You're not allowed. This is like fucking VIP. To be in my life, it's VIP zone. Okay? You got to be a very fucking important person. And if they be treating you like you're fucking not that, then maybe you're not that. Then maybe you're not that. Maybe you're for the streets. So stop complaining like you deserve better when you can't even uphold those standards and boundaries for yourself. You've gone on a few dates, let's say, and this person doesn't want to commit. Like is down to just date aimlessly, da, 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 Netflix and chill, whatever the fuck you kids do nowadays and not commit to you. And you've asked them, hey, what are we doing? First of all, never ask that. Go watch... I'll link it down below because you need it. Like never ask, what are we? Always come in and say, this is what I want. 
if you had that conversation and they're like, well, I'm having a lot of fun with you and, but there's a lot going on in my life or like, I'm sorry I didn't message you for the past month. It's been crazy. Work has been crazy. Yeah, bitch. Show me your search history. Show me your search history. Let's see what you Googled at 1 a.m. Let's see what you Googled five minutes ago or last week when you were so busy you couldn't text me. Okay, let's go see what the fuck you were searching and what the fuck you were doing. Let's see your search history, bitch. Our phones are glued to us. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, I don't like to use my phone and then the we are liars. We are liars. I like to say that and bitch on my phone is glued to me like I'm expecting a call from some fuck. I don't know what. Like, let's be fucking for real here, please. You guys are all on your phones. OK, so if you're all on your phones, it takes literally under a second with all of the like already written out words for you to write hi. Hey, sorry. How are you doing? What's up? Yes, I'm fine. Oh my God. Let's schedule a call. Oh my God. I'm busy right now. Let me get back to you. Is it hard? If that's hard for you, I wonder how your work emails look like because you're so fucking bet so fucking busy. You can't even send an email to your boss that you're gonna be on vacation. You just don't show up to work. Oh my God. Sorry, boss. I was so fucking busy. I couldn't send an email. Like guys, do you see what I'm saying? It's getting ridiculous. It sounds crazy because it is crazy. It is crazy. It is fucking Looney Tune town. And I'm sure you get it, but you just need me to tell you it over and over again. And I know this is going to be one of those podcast episodes that you re-listen to and like re-listen to while you're getting ready. Re-listen to when you're going out on a drunken adventure and have the itch to fucking message him or her. You're not doing it because their number is blocked and you deleted it. And none of us remember numbers. And I hope you're not memorizing his number right now because bitch, I swear to God. God. get a fucking life just get a fucking life they are not into you if they're not making effort period there are people that are very confusing that like will be friendly with you and like sometimes sleep with you and sometimes not and all that stuff it is your fault for not laying down the boundaries laying down the law hey I don't know if you're looking for a friend but I'm not like I it's it's nice hanging out with you and stuff like that I'm looking for a relationship this is what I thought we were you know, trying to make, make headway on and see if we're good for each other. I feel like we've become really friendly and it's just not it for me. I think a lot of people don't want to miss out on things, but the reality is if it's meant for you, it won't miss you. It won't go by you. You can't control it. You can't control everybody. You can't control everything. You can't control the outcome of, you know, what it's going to be with this person. You can't control that. You can only do your part. And the problem is, is none of you guys do your part accurately or decently even and you end up in very complicated situations with people that disrespect you and abuse your kindness truthfully and know they can call you up whenever and know that a shitty apology is all it takes for you to be okay with you know disrespect they are not into you if you are like their little hidden secret they're not into you if they have not made plans to physically see you I don't care what they say or they're cheating or they're lying or they're hiding you. I'm going to tell you guys an actual like a, a wild story. I went and got my nails done. Okay. Or a pedicure. And all the feet fetish people are like, oh my God, like p -p pedicure. Oh my God. Like I'm just, just my pants. Like fucking get a grip on your life. Okay. I went and got a pedicure and this girl was sitting there. And we were like just talking. The girl that was doing my pedicure. We were talking. She was really cute. And like. I just, we loved each other's vibes. And she asked me what I did. I said, oh, I'm dating and sex coach. She's like, oh my God, that's crazy. And of course, everyone likes to milk me. Like take my money and then like milk me for my opinions and advice. But she's like, do you mind if I like run something by you? And she's, you're going to know by this story. She's young. You know, I met this guy off a dating app and um, we have like mutuals, but distant mutuals to the point where like we don't really cross paths really. But we've been talking for a long time. And we still haven't like met up and I've been trying to like gauge why. And it's weird. I'm like, well, okay, first of all, how long have you guys been talking? You know, cause people say like, Oh, a long time. Like it's like fucking two and a half days. Okay. Drama queen. No, it was a year. She was talking to this guy for a fucking whole year. And she had met, met him. And I said, honey, do you need friends? She's like, no. I'm like, do you need a pen pal? She's like, no. Like, so why are you talking to him for a fucking year? If a man or a woman doesn't 
like you don't feel the pressure of getting off the dating app or getting off whatever thing, exchanging numbers. Okay. And then immediately like talking, chatting for a few days, and then we're making a plan to see each other. Future projections as to what we're going to do, as to when we're going to do it, as to a fucking date, as to a fucking time, as to a 24 hour before but reminder. There is none of that. They don't actually want to pursue anything with you except maybe sext you. Okay. Like losers, like, like fucking 16 year olds that just discovered their fucking ball sack. And I was floored when she told me that. I'm like, oh, no, honey. She's like, why do you think he doesn't want to meet up? Like, he says he really likes me, but, like, he doesn't want anything serious. I'm like, oh, here we go. I'm like, I'll stop you right there. He doesn't like you. Okay? He doesn't. You entertain him. He probably doesn't have enough friends. He needs somebody to text. I don't know why. So, like, loser alert. Loserville red flag every fucking where. Okay? And I said, you know why? Maybe he doesn't want to meet you in person. And you know why maybe he's texting you or whatever? Because maybe it's in secret. She's like, what do you mean? What are you insinuating? I'm like, listen, I don't know for certain, but I'll tell you something. And this is where you guys don't use your, your little critical thinking hats. I'm not saying you should really like zoom in on things and like come up with conclusions because people who are not serious about you are not even worth like an extra thought. But I told her, I said, he probably has a girlfriend. He is probably cheating on her by texting you and texting other girls, trying to get attention, filling a void for himself that he himself has with himself. And he doesn't want to meet you because he how is he going to pull that off with his girlfriend? What if they live together? He's going to say, hey, I'm going to go have a beer with the boys. And she has his location. She, she sees there somewhere where he wouldn't go with the boys or, you know, she goes and shows up. And here we have it. She's like, no, that makes so much sense. That makes so much, I'm like, well, honey, what are you, I don't care if it makes sense. What are you doing with this? Why are you doing this? Don't ever let it get to that point. Don't ever show somebody that you are a fucking loser. Okay. Don't ever show somebody that they can use you as a therapist, as a friend to vent, as a hole to fuck, as a whatever. If you are looking for somebody that is serious, then stop behaving like somebody who is not. Nobody is going to respect somebody. And this is similar to a video I just filmed. If it wasn't already posted, I'll link all of that below or I'll put it here. Don't show people that you are worthy of less respect than you actually are. Okay. And what you do is when you accept people like this or you chase people who have outwardly shown you that you are really not of great importance to them or they don't really care to see where this is going to go or you're just another bitch on the, on the roster. That's all you'll ever be. They're never going to look at you as more than that. Because even the best people out there will take advantage of somebody who almost seems like they want to be taken advantage of. If they are not into you, you cut it off. You should not be attracted to somebody who doesn't have a sense of urgency to be with you, who doesn't pour into, you know, whatever this is, who doesn't make active efforts to message you in a timely manner, or at least say, hey, listen, I'm going to be at work. I'll talk to you when I'm done work. Like at least give you that. Fill in those gaps for you. It's not hard. It is the bare fucking minimum. Honestly, it's below bare fucking minimum. When I was dating, if somebody couldn't give me that, I, I like I said, the reason why I always say block, I'm not going to give you another chance for what? Like if you couldn't, if that was an oopsie daisy right at the get go and we're all our best, most polished version of ourselves, God knows who the fuck you really are and how you actually are. No, thank you. And if you think I'm just some hoe, then go find some hoe. Do you know what I mean? Like there's so many of those. I'm sure you have several on speed dial. I'm just not going to be one of them. Thank you. No one could fuck with me that way. I never had drama. I never was like, oh my God, like I don't understand why he's like not messaging me back. I've never had that conversation with anybody. None of my girlfriends can ever say I've had that conversation with anybody. I've never had that issue. Why? Not because I'm better, smarter, hotter. Not at all. Because I literally won't deal with it. I, I ch chow. No, not worth my time. And I don't think I'm holier than thou and better than anybody else. You know, I've struggled with self-confidence and self-esteem my whole fucking life, just like everyone does. Okay, I'm still fucking human. But I refuse to be disrespected. I refuse to have someone look at me as if I'm some idiot because the reality is I'm not. That's what I know for certain. I'm not. And I was never unhappy being single ever because I did what I want. I did it respectfully. I did it in a healthy manner. No one can say anything bad about me. I had a great time. I made great connections. 
I had some good sex, some good times, but it was on my terms. Nobody ever used and abused me. Nobody took advantage of me. Nobody dared, even if they wanted to sleep with me, to message me at 3 a.m. Nobody, because they knew the, the type of girl I wasn't trusting. People act accordingly when they know who the fuck you are, when they see who the fuck you are. They, they know that shit's not going to cut it. Guys who wanted to do casual little fucking flings and fuck around would never be attracted to a girl like me because I'm not on that wavelength. Like we're in two different worlds. I don't care to be attractive to you or not. If you are like that. Actually, I'd rather like you totally not even fucking look my direction. Ew. I have always been in long-term relationships. Why is that? And I never, when I was younger, until a friend brought it up, I never thought I was long-term kind of girl. I was always like, oh, I'm cool, experimental. I'm very sexually open and I'm, you know, fun and loud and... I'm picky and selective, but I always end up in relationships. And most of them were pretty decent relationships with pretty decent people. Why is that? When I embraced my single life, I, was, I always end up in a relationship. And if, even if I didn't want a relationship, it presents itself to me. Because I act right. I am pretty good with being like, nope. Nope. That's cool. No worries. In a respectful way. I'm not like, okay, you're fucking stupid. No, no, no. Like I'll say it in my head and I'll say it to you guys, but I won't say it to them. Like I'm just, it's not, it's not worth my energy. And so decent people are attracted to other decent people. I never needed to walk into the room and be like, Hey guys, oh my God, I'm single like shots and like ass out and tits out to get attention. I never needed that. I walked in with a fucking turtleneck, babe. You guys know my trick. Turtleneck gang all the fucking way. Sat at the bar, minding my own goddamn business. Never needed to scan the room and check out men. Never did it once. And the girls that were out here with their tits and ass, out hanging, looking. Yeah, they got, they, they got attention from the guys. But the guys they were after would come to the bar and sit with me and my friends. This is sort of like a part two to a video I just did. So if you are kind of like missing out on some of this or not understanding what's going on here a little bit, go watch that other video. Most people don't have the balls, metaphorically speaking, to say what it is that they actually are after or want. And partially because they don't know what they want, but also on the other side, because they know that if they were to say, hey, you are totally not wifey material in my head. I don't really want that. I just want to fuck around and you seem like a good time and you seem hot and you seem like somebody I could fuck or like a bucket list thing I want to do. So like, are you down? You're going to be like, excuse me? You're going to be offended by that, but you're not offended by this behavior. That's basically saying the same thing. Basically saying the same thing. I'm your translator. Okay. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a few laughs. I hope you like my stories. Let me know if you want me to get more personal with you guys. If that does anything for you. I really enjoy your feedback on my videos. I appreciate you spending your time here listening or watching this, whether it's on YouTube or on the podcast. Give this video a thumbs up if you're watching it on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any more of this goodness. If you want to subscribe and be a premium member here, you get lots of perks, lots of private lives and videos. You get early access to a lot of things as well. So if you want more of this, there is more of this available to select few of you guys. You can listen to this on anywhere you listen to podcasts, e Rotic by Eden Middleman. You can find that all over. Please follow my podcast and rate it five stars. It really helps me so much. And I will see you back here very soon. Take care and behave. Behave. <laughs>